Hi Scorpio, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Scorpio, I'm going to take a look at a little bit of love, life, advice for you for February. So my goal with this is if some of your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. So we're going to see what's going on with you. Love, life, advice for February bonus reading for Scorpio. So welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. And I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go and watch past readings, links are below to your general and um, love playlist, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that information is below, and I will pin some of that to the top comment. All right, so for Scorpio, let's see what's going on. And please only take what resonates. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. All right. Oh, we have the man here bearing it all. Some sort of man bearing it all. 28, 10 is an ending or a completion. And then one is always a new beginning. And we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom. So this could be a brand new beginning in love. Oh, somebody wanting to bear it all to you or you to them, however it resonates for you. But we do have the snake at the bottom here. Queen of Pentacles, though, is a very um, you know, stable energy. But, you know, seven can be about being divinely guided on the right path, a very spiritual number. So let's see what these have to say. So we have 28 with um, men. Well, there's two men. Two male cards in this deck. Uh, I think this is the man too. Yes, it is. I could be you, the reader, or the significant male subject of your reading or a male partner. The optional second man card in the reverie might be used to provide a specific reference for a reading or serve a, for a same-sex relationship or provide a choice that might better represent the personality of the male subject of the reading. So, so it's definitely, I feel like a man wanting to bear it all, like waiting patiently here for something. So let's see here with... Um, the snake, I believe. Snake, watch out for me because I am always hiding. You can never trust or believe me. I am cheating, deceiving, and will betray you in a heartbeat. Be careful where you are treading. My fangs will surely have you dreading. Hmm. So somebody may be coming in wanting to bear it all. They maybe just want passion. Maybe they may promise you love and all this and that but really all they want is maybe to be a player or just want the passion as they're bearing their chest here um so i don't know we'll see where that goes we'll see where that goes when we get into the tarot so let's pull a little bit of life for you scorpio what's going on with scorpio spirit please thank you so much what do they need to know at this time for Scorpio, please? Oh, wow, that was quick. You're very close to achieving your goal. And this just came out for um, Capricorn. Let's see what's on the bottom. Expect powerful change. So some sort of big change coming in here. Whatever you're trying to achieve, whatever goal you're setting, going after, there may be a powerful change that comes in that may like push you forward quicker in your goal here. I don't know, we'll see what's going on here for you, Scorpio. I just want to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tip donated, send a gift. Thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me in the channel and helping the channel to grow. So thank you, thank you. All right, so Scorpio, what's your advice? What's your advice? It's too much, too much for Scorpio. 
time out. Time out. Take a break. Take a breather. 73 is 10. Again, about um, endings, completions, but then there's always a new beginning. And we have here music. 32, 5, which is change. So some of you may need to take a time out and just go have some fun. <coughs> go have some fun. Listen to music. Go dancing. Relax. So just relax. Listen to some... Um, some meditative music, relax in music, take a bubble bath, just relax and take some time for you is what I'm feeling. Feel like something needs to change. Maybe you're getting worn out with that 10 kind of energy and you maybe need a vacation. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, what is this going on here with the snake and this, ooh. And this man bearing his chest. Well, we have stress, worry, fear, anxiety. Somebody stressed out over here. All right. Wow. <laughs> it's too many. What's going on here for Scorpio? Okay, somebody coming in, you know, they're looking stable. And they're promising something uh, stable and secure. But can this be trusted? You may be up in your head and they may come in. You know, it seems like they're bearing their chest. They're bearing it all. You know, they're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting something stable. But you may be stressed out like you're not sure if you can trust this. So you may wait. You may wait here with the three of wands about waiting. You may say, you know, I need time to think about this. Or maybe they could have been deceptive in the past or a sneaky energy in the past or you couldn't trust them in the past but now it's like they're coming in bearing it all and wanting like a new beginning here but you may be thinking about the past saying yeah i don't know i don't know so you may make them wait while you think about this yeah you may kind of leave them out in the cold and say you know i don't know <laughs> i need to think so you may not give them any answer that could actually be a marriage or a proposal or wanting a commitment, something solid. Yeah, justice. So I feel like they really want to bring justice into this now. But now you're like, well, I don't know if I could trust you. I don't know if you're being honest. Is this going to be fair and balanced? And I feel like you're just going to go off on your own and think about this and make them wait. Make them wait. For a pen, yep, <laughs> you're gonna hold back from them four of pentacles and make them wait. Yep, you're gonna make them wait the four of pentacles. So ultimately it's gonna be up to you. I mean, I do feel like they're coming in here with wanting a brain to be getting in love, especially with that ace of pentacles, you know, and that that could be past energy because he's kind of looking away from the snake. So I feel like he's kind of leaving behind his, you know, their ways, or it could be you, however it resonates for you. Male, female watching this, however. But I think somebody is moving on from how they used to be and now they want to come in and offer their love and commitment or whatever here. But I feel like you may not trust them. You may, you know, be thinking about all that stuff from the past. So I think you're going to take a time out and you're going to make them wait while you make a fair and just decision here. So ultimately, uh, I don't know, I don't like to keep it hanging there. So it's going to come, it's going to come for this Scorpio. Well, I guess you may chose to soulmate union. So this is a soulmate to uh, lovers coming together in soulmate union. So you may make them wait because of what happened in the past. You may feel like that's the fair thing to do is put them on hold, make them wait like they did to you. But I do see soulmate union there, so I do feel like they are honest this time. All right, so I feel like you're just going to stand your ground and uh, make them wait. So what is this? Uh, achieving your goal, expect a powerful change. Yeah, so here's a powerful change coming you in, and you feeling like you've just been through like a tornado. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. So uh, that wounded warrior... My wounded warrior, three of pentacles, but you know, willing to keep working at it, working at it. 
Yep, you keep moving forward with the chariot energy, the drive, ambition, passion to your success and victory, balanced energy. Yeah, some sort of heartbreak. Something powerful change could actually be something that could be something not so good here. It could be um, something heartful, painful that you may experience. And that's why you have feel like you've been through the ringer. But I think it's going to help you for some reason along in your journey. You know, either just learning lessons from it or making you stronger. But not giving up because you do have the chariot energy there for success. And being that king of pentacles energy. So being successful and abundant. And, you know, you could be your own boss. You could be, you know get a promotion or a raise or something here in much more stable energy. Something could happen or could have happened in your work environment that was very hurtful, painful, um, but somehow you got through it. But now you're more successful, so however that means for you. you know, maybe you had to fight for a promotion or for a job or something here, and it was very taxing on you. Maybe a lot of bad things happened along the way, but hangman here. So gaining enlightenment, again, like I said, learning lessons from whatever you went through, uh, seeing things in a new perspective, maybe taking a little time out, you know, to pause and reflect, to heal before moving forward as the king of pentacles, king or queen, doesn't matter. And uh, getting in your chariot there to success and victory. Wow, so however that means for you, so <clears throat> some sort of powerful change that might have been not in a so so good of an energy, but it also made you stronger and it taught you some lessons and you didn't give up, you kept going on. But now I feel like with time out with music, and now you feel like you need uh new time, time to take care of you. Yeah, tower moment here, so I definitely feel like it's been a struggle, a fight, a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening, a lot of shakeups, kind of energy. But finding your peace, your balance here, peace and harmony, being patient. Yep, and there's your rest, relaxation, you time, healing, meditating, napping, whatever you need to do here. Communi honest communication here. So this could be, you know, doing research online or something like that. Or maybe you saw something online that caused this uh, energy over here or something like that. But it's honest, truthful communication. Um, again, you know, cutting, saying, you know, cutting things no longer starving you, standing up for yourself. Could be watching something online. But now we have the Seven of Wands, which is, being defensive and on guard. So I feel like with the Tower moment and the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands, I just feel like you had a lot going on. Maybe something you really had to fight for here. You really had to like stand up for yourself and speak up. And maybe that's something that you weren't used to doing. But it's like this Tower moment, it's like just standing up for yourself and just going after it. Now, being balanced here. There's your balanced energy. Two cards of balanced. So, yeah, really, you know, whatever time or moment you went through, whatever you had to go through to get to where you are now, uh, now you have peace, harmony, balance, patience. And But you need time out for you with the Four of Swords energy now. It's like you've been through a lot to get where you are. So now you need you time. Take care of you. Spend some quality time alone however you do that for you something involving music so you can rejuvenate so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and i do ask uh scorpio if you're new and you like my style and how i read please feel free to check out my channel feel free to like share subscribe comment hit the bell you won't miss out i love to read the comments and if you do thank you so much so let's see what's on the bottom here so seven of swords this is kind of like sneaking away or lying deceitful kind of energy hurtful energy Eight of Swords. Wow, seven and the Eight of Swords being 
caught up in your head kind of energy. But whatever that negative energy was that kept you stuck in your head, I feel like with the strength here, you were able to overcome that. Having strength, stamina, willpower to overcome. Now again, being much more stable and abundant in your home life. All the way around, celebrating, being stable. And here's your fiery passion, new beginning. Could be a new job, career, endeavor, lover here. And this could be this passionate lover coming in, you know, with their wand. And you're like, hold up there, bucko. I'm not so sure, you know, yet what I want to do here. So you're going to be indecisive. Make them wait because of their energy of the past was very burdensome taxing to you and you don't you can't forget that especially the nine of swords over here but ultimately i do see long-term commitment here and you also being committed to a journey as taxing as it was you know feeling like i don't know if this is going to happen for me i don't know what to do but there's the divine hand in you you're a passionate new beginning all the way around which commitment celebrating stable energy having strength to, to persevere on through any kind of negative energy of the past or future present future that kept you stuck in your head wow <laughs> scorpio a lot of energy there wow so best of luck scorpio and uh sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel so always always shining your light